an alert for drivers along Michigan Avenue. Watch out for new red light cameras at two popular and very busy intersections. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joins us live from the Mag Mile with more on what we can expect. Hi, Mike. We are here at Jackson and Michigan Avenue where one of the newest red light cameras in the city has been installed. Now, the street known for its expensive real estate, Michigan Avenue, might soon be known for its expensive tickets. $100 gone in a flash. That will soon be the harsh reality at two Michigan Avenue intersections if you happen to blow a red light. The two latest red light cameras to be installed are on one of the city's best known streets. The first one is at Michigan and Ontario in the heart of the Mag Mile. The second is at Michigan and Jackson in the Loop. Now, the cameras are being turned on today, but tickets won't be issued to violators for another two weeks. So the next two weeks will be something of a grace period before tickets start being mailed on February 5th. Mark Wallace with Citizens to Abolish Red Light Cameras says the new cameras are all about revenue, not safety. We have all the business traffic. People are commuting in to work. Uh, you have intersections that are people are stuck at. There's not people blowing through a lot of red light cameras uh, or red light uh, intersections here. This is going to be uh, an absolute deluge of money going into the city. Total money grab in your view? A 100% money grab where they see high rates of traffic volume where they can rake in millions of dollars. I don't think they're very good. I think that it will delay traffic more and give people unnecessary tickets. Wallace says there have only been four serious accidents at the intersection of Michigan and Jackson in the past four years. The city says a new study by Northwestern shows that accidents with injuries are reduced by 10 percent after red light cameras are installed. They also say the mayor Emanuel has had 78 cameras removed, reducing the total number of cameras by about 20 percent. Now, Wallace says that Although the accidents with injuries may have been reduced, he says the rear end collisions actually go up anytime a red light camera is installed. So a lot of strong opinions on both sides of this story. Reporting live in the loop, Mike Cuccinelli, CBS 2 News. Back to you. Thanks for the heads up, Mike.